In this lesson, we're gonna recap Redux and we're gonna recap what we have learned. So in case you miss something or misunderstand something, I hope this lesson will help you. First, to change your global state, you need to create an action. This function is an action creator and it return an action, okay? Any action has a type and payload. The payload here is true and the type is login. When we fire this action, what happens? We just go to the reducer of that action and inside the reducer we have multiple, multiple cases. We just select our case. In that case, it's login. So we're gonna use the login case. What are we gonna do here? We just return a copy from the state. This global state is signing false and username and users, user box. We, we return a copy of it and we only change what we want here. We here want to change is signed in. That property in this object, in this global state. And we can make it true, we can make it false, we can make it payload. What's the payload value? The payload value here is what you're passing here. I mean true. So in login, the payload is true. Let's go to another action. This action is lookout. Look here, the type is lookout and the payload is false. So when we dispatch that action, we go here in our reducer and search. That's login? No, it's not that. It's not that. That's change name? No, it's not that. That's lookout? Yes, that is. That's the lookout. What Redux do in that case? In that case, it return a copy of the state, of the global state, but it only change is signed in property. And it change it depending on the payload. The payload here in the logout case is false. So it make the is sign in false. So you can log out your user. Let's go to another action. We have here an action with a type change name. What are we gonna do in that case? when we dispatch that action. That action take an argument called username and pass it as a payload, okay? When we go to our reducer, reducer do that. And change name, yes, that's, he will return a copy of our global state and only change the username. Change it depending on the payload. What is that payload? The payload is coming from an action here and Oh, here it's not a, a type of data, it's a parameter. I mean, it's not, it's not true or false or something. It's a parameter we are gonna use when we dispatch that action. So if we go to setting screen, you have to add your, your argument here. If we delete it, your compiler is gonna complete because it says expected one argument, but got zero. You, so you have to add the name that you want to change. Let's make it test, for example. And that's our app and let's press change. It's gonna be test. Our last action, get users box. And it's, a, it's not a normal action because it's not a normal action creator and it doesn't return a plain JavaScript object. It's return an async function because in some cases we need to make asynchronous operations using Redux. So we have to add Redux thunk as we've learned before. In last lesson what are we what are we do here we're just taking that endpoint if we copy that endpoint and open our browser that's our browser and just paste it and go it's not a unprotected endpoint so we can get the data okay those data are box box data we will that's an EBI and we want to fetch it. We're just using an access library with get method to get the data from that EBI. And when we get that data, we pass this data as a payload here and dispatch an action called get user box. And when we dispatch that action, we just go to our reducer and search. Is that? No. Is that? No. Is that? Yes. Get users box. What are we gonna do here? We just return a copy of the state and update our array of box to the payload. What is that payload? The payload that we got here. It's the data we got from that endpoint. Okay. 
So that was a quick recap. I hope you've learned the lesson. I hope it's easy to you and not hard.